In a previous video, I modeled a coffee cup and I was obviously suffering from a lack of coffee and I made some mistakes. So I owe you all you guys uh, a coffee or at least a styrofoam coffee cup. So let's do it. Let's do a better one right now. Press one to go into front view, shift A, mesh, cylinder, and I'm going to use 16 vertices. I'm gonna press GZ1 to come up and I'm gonna go into edit mode, shift alt, click there. And I'm gonna bring it up to another uh, blender unit. I'm gonna press S and scale and I'm gonna come out till I think it looks like a coffee cup. All right, so far so good. <laughs> All right, now, control R, I'm gonna bring an edge loop uh, close down to the bottom here. Uh, that's probably just fine right there. I'm going to press 2 to go into edge selection, and I'm going to bevel this. Control B, pull, and I want to have one segment in the middle. So I've got three edges right there. I'm going to bring it in a little tighter. Not too tight. That's fine right there. Zoom in, shift alt and click that. And I'm going to press S to scale and pull it in. Just not too much. Don't go crazy. Something like that is going to be okay. Okay, we're going to come back to that uh, in a little bit. We're going to need some more edge loops, but let's just keep going. Okay, front view again. Control R, bring in another edge loop. Bring it up to the top. We're going to make that sort of rim area there. So I'm going to put an edge loop right there. I'm going to come up and I'm going to pull another edge loop right underneath it. Pretty close. Right about there is going to be fine. Face selection, I just press 3. Shift Alt and click right there and we're going to press s to scale again i'm going to scale out just a little bit more like that so we have that and that'll make a nice little curve right there okay all right now i'm going to select the top look from front view zoom in and i'm going to extrude up in the z direction e to extrude and i'm going to pull up just a little bit like that and then i'm going to press e to extrude and come up about the same amount Okay, something like that. But I'm going to S to scale it in a little bit. I'm going to hold shift and go with smaller increments. Just about that. So it's sort of a little gentle curve. Okay, so far so good. Uh, select this top face now. And we're going to extrude it down. E to extrude. Just start pulling it down. Maybe a little bit more than halfway. And of course it comes out. And then we just S to scale it back in so that it's not visible. And no one's going to be looking any further down there. They're not going to know if it's at the bottom or not. Okay, now we're going to have to do some more work, but let's go back into object mode and go control two for two subdivisions and shade smooth. Okay, now let's come back and work on this bottom part here. Go back into edit mode and I'm going to come in close to here and I'm going to go control R to add an edge loop. I'm going to pull it up near that one and down near that one. I'm going to do the same for the lower part up and down okay let's come out and have a look now we can see a nice line the bottom is all uh, messed up so we're going to in face selection select that face press i to inset pull in a little ways like this and then e to extrude and push up like that now we still have some problems there so i'm just shifting it around and we're gonna try to put an edge loop in here. To wait to get a circle. If you get that, that's not what we want. Move it around that and pull it down. And we have that. Now we can make this a little bit sharper and it would look a little bit better. So control R, bring an edge loop down near the bottom. It doesn't have to be right at the bottom. Okay, so we have, we have that. Okay, back up to the top. We need to give some definition here. So in, uh, in edit mode, we're going to control R, bring an edge loop close to there. And let's see if that's enough. I think we need another one. Control R, we'll pull up near the, near there. Doesn't have to go right to the end. And we have this so far. A couple more things to do on the inside this time. Let's uh, have a look at this. It's looking a little thin. Okay. What we'll do is we'll select that bottom face. I know you can't see that, so I'll come over here. I'll turn off the subdivision surface. And what I can do is I can control plus 
And I'm going to scale this in a little bit. Scale Shift Z just to pull it in a little bit more to give it a little bit more thickness when we have the subdivision surface on. Another thing that we can do is we can come up here and control our put one edge loop in there. And now that'll define the thickness of that of that rim. Might even make it a little bit too sharp. So what I'll do is I will shift off and click that edge, pull it down a little bit, and scale it in a tiny bit. A little bit rounder. Alright, now let's work on the inside. Um, I'll turn this off so we can see a little bit better. I'm going to go Control R, click, and I'm going to look from front view and in wireframe. I'm going to pull this edge loop. Now, as I do that, you'll notice it's changing the shape, so I don't want to do that. I want to bring this edge loop about to the same position as this. So I'm going to press GG for edge slide, G and G, up to about there. Okay. Into solid view, and I'm going to do the same thing. Control B. I'm going to pull, hold down Shift, so I get three edges there. Shift Alt and click this one, and I'm going to S to scale, and I'm scaling outwards this time. I'm going to bring. Let's see how we want to do this. To do this one, it's probably easier to just bring an edge loop down near there and up. Near there, you can't really see. That's okay. All right, so now I have that inner line there. And if you think that's too abrupt, just come back in here and take this one, and say instead of just pulling it down, that'll change the curvature. Go GG and pull it down a little bit, and take one of these ones, GG, pull it up a little bit, put on the subdivision. And there you go. But we need to deal with this, so. What we'll do is in edge, in the edit mode, I'm going to just select that bottom face, I to inset, pull it in a little bit, and let's see. We could add one edge loop. Control R, pull it down. It doesn't have to go all the way down. And there we go. There's our coffee cup. All right, it's a little bit high poly, but uh, but that's that's what it is. Let's take take one. And let's rotate X90. And we'll turn on shadow as well. What we should do is make sure we select everything in Alt N, recalculate outside in case there's any problems with our polys, but I don't think there is. Okay, so that looks uh, a little bit nicer for, for a coffee cup.